Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Coming live from Fire Up Your Heart, Children of God. God, God, that's you. Um, I just wanted to uh, check in. Yes, I'm, you know, fine. Not like that. Just, you know, not a little, little bit. No elixir. I mean, so, um, well, it's still in your system. Well, maybe it is. Have fun with that. So I wanted to have a few updates uh, in our life. Uh, John and I never got on the camera together. Um, um, I don't know if I've said much about the sound of freedom. I have, and I've posted a lot on the Cura uh, in um, in regards to um, supporting that film. I really wanted to like have a specific of why I was just popping on here. Maybe I just needed a yapper chipper. Mainly tonight, uh, went to bed quite early, but the dogs were unsettled like the whole the whole time, just like completely unsettled, uh, up and down, moving over here. I could hear him. Uh, so then I finally got up again to let him out to go to the bathroom, but very unsettled. I had to. Um, put the turkeys in like a safe place to like a, well, a forced rest because I had not known that the hens had upped their game again. And so it's been a big learning lesson. Uh, we didn't get what I guess, would, although the label said that they were somewhat docile. Um, no, there's ones that are more like little, little babies, like little kittens. And they're just so sweet. Those aren't, I don't think that's the ones we got. Ours run a little more, um, mean. <laughs> so, um, been trying not to be too hard on myself about this adventure because, um, because of having the two, the two strong breed dogs, um, and that, um, still some kinks there with them, you know? And, um, and so then there is, there's, is it's, I don't know if it's like not a required guilt or shame, but feel pretty bad about bringing chickens and stuff in. So I honestly thought that even though I've made fun of hip and Poe and the three of us are on the short bus and just jokes that, um, that I, I honestly did think that they would, they would start to get it. You know, they'd start to get like, she goes out there, here's the eggs, you know, let's not kill the chickens. It just doesn't work. And why did I add the two turkeys? They were so cute and they were all alone. Oh my God. And I had stuff that I needed to get done, you know, before winter. And it's, um, almost August. It's my ne nephew's birthday, I believe, today. So happy birthday. Oh, gosh, Mackenzie. <clears throat> I wasn't really allowed to know you, honey. Uh, Eric made that very clear up front. Uh, they had to cover Anne's pedophilism, and I was the easiest one to dump it all, you know. I get punished because I want this stuff to stop. Um... I pull your mom aside one last time when you're teeny tiny saying, don't leave her alone with this woman. Don't let her, like, I don't understand why all you let all that go on. Um, I hope I don't get dragged back into all that, but it's so demented and that I didn't know how to navigate the situation. Couldn't leave the boy. Couldn't raise him alone. I really couldn't. He's a hand. He was a handful. It's not, and not in a bad way, not in a bad way. He was so full of vibrant, of adventurous, like, I, you know, I would not have been able to physically keep up with him. Say, in a perfect world, I had had him later. It was more planned and a lovely, serene situation or whatever. I wouldn't have been able to physically keep up with him. <clears throat> So happy birthday, Web. I uh, gosh, you're getting up there. I'd have to count backwards again. 
No, it was the year I graduated, and I forbade or left behind the idea of going away for school. That was already a sea, sea of events and situations I was letting go of for family that had no problems throwing me under the bus when it was all done and said. It really, I will be a lifetime over that. Eight. No, I knew this. No, that's not right. Sorry. No, I don't have this right. Oh my God. No, I've got something messed up. I don't have it. I just did Jesse's. Well, then I would add five. You're really 30. Oh my goodness. I've been out of high school 30 years. I can't say that it seems like yesterday. No, no, it does not. What does seem like yesterday, and if you feel that your life is lacking some excitement, um, you know, just you want to just throw in a bunch of dynamics of situations where you completely lose track of time for upwards of six months. So we got, technically, I was coming here with a small loads, doing um, inspections here in February, um, mostly solo. And then um, John would come on his lunch, and then he would return in the morning, take a nap, or then we'd go back to the other property and try to get stuff together. So February, so if, if you wanted to go from February into July and you're like, was that six months? Just make sure you have two strong breed dogs that aren't fully trained. I mean, you've trained them as good as, as best as you can. Um, cannot handle major shifts. This is a shifting operation. Um, poor pups. They deserved more of like a military couple type style. No, not a lot of deviations from, you know, very, very, very methodical. Uh, I think they could have did well in that sort of operation. And not that they're doing terrible. I think we've been able to calm down. I'm not, I get radiated. Like I was on fire all night and they were pacing all through the house weird. And so then obviously I woke up way too early, but did go to bed early. So, uh, but it was still would only be maybe if I got six hours. So it's still not bad though, but when you wake up and you're just, it's like a furnace. And then when it was happening like years and years and years ago, I'm like, I wouldn't be getting hot flash already. Although they have my hormones where they've never been. I am really not allowed much. I think they just like them all the way upside down and all around. You know what I mean? And when I say they, thus, yes, I do remember tests. I remember having things put on me too often. And I just can't even imagine like they could. Uh, like I could just right now have like a flop, you know, and something might get me going. And so we don't need to necessarily, cause I'm not, I'm not a robot. I know that's like our new age robotism. It's the way you're supposed to be and live and how and why, and just, you know, nothing out of that, you know, not very much, unless you are titled as an entertainer, then you're allowed to do it, but because of the scoliosis and because I got up early, you will hear, I will be cracking, doing a little contortion there, get a little bit of a crack or something. It's like I was doing Daniel in 2019. I would have dated these. I would have had them on the show then on here. So I didn't really know. I mean, I wanted to update about the neighbor thing. And I had really started to pull out of all like TI, this TI community um, stuff. I really gave it a whirl and it did really help in the beginning because um, when I saw how we had been through the powers of what government, local government, a number of numerous copious amounts of people apparently and one community or like seriously still to say, I can list stuff and say, I think that this is a strong possibility, how this, how this, uh, policing thing goes down. And, um, and I would totally see why they would have me on like, you know, 
as to how it would look just looking at the most of the false reports and paperwork on me. Um, but to the degree and level and, and the investment factor and um, in it is they came on, like, we met this couple, the, my, the first time we met, they could see I was struggling with two huge dogs in the snow ice. The dogs were static. We were visiting somewhere new. They didn't know what was going on. Uh, we're with a realtor, Corey, and they'd already tried to, one, one of the pups tried to, you know, gave him like a little warning thing. I mean, Poe, Poe did. You can, you can see that the dogs are huge, huge dogs. Um, now, I mean, I'm robust, you know, that's a nice name, right? For a short lady, but I mean, you can see that they're, and that was how I first met the neighbors. And I remember me and John had the conversation. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, yeah, what's going on? I'm like, they're going to be like, you talk about a thorn in your side. So I'm like, are we, what are we going to do? Cause then when we didn't, maybe the, this property wasn't available and then it was available all of a sudden again. And then like, and then like, you know, that it's probably already been rigged and jigged and they don't have to do that a lot remote. They just do remote, but so then discussing with the realtor, like you try to find properties then, but see, then it's already on the radar. We've seen a property, right? This is how it happened numerous times before. And so we're just going to do a lot of off-roading, I guess, tonight is, uh, 12 minutes of it is, um, I'd already seen the pattern with numerous other realtors and, uh, trying to get out, actually trying to get out of this County into another County. Oh, wow. That was not happening. I mean, you talk about closed metal gates, like they were keeping us in this County. This is where all my memories are of abuse, all of it. Just, it's all, con most of it's highly condensed here. I might have had situations out and about in other places, but not, not where it was just, you know, from the beginning, just stuck, just like as a prisoner right here. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Monroe County, Michigan. And so, um, you know, they know that if I were to get out and not that I wouldn't still be dealing with healing and memories and flashbacks, but the fact is, is that you're not having to go by certain landmarks and things that are every day. If I go into town, if I were to go into town, what, what's going to be registering, you know, the old family businesses. Oh, those were sold. Oh, but back before we sold it and I still hadn't gotten pregnant yet. I wanted to make the rink into like a church or like half time, like kind of get out of the roller skating thing because it was, it just, it was, um, it was getting more where everyone's dropping lawsuits left and right. You know, um, you not only become like the babysitter for these kids for two hours, but is someone even going to pick some of them up on time? Uh, then you're sitting there all night. I'm going to figure out a way to get the kid home. And then you got the legal legalities of this is not someone, you know, and then we're taking this kid to their property. You know, it was just, it was becoming more of a headache to keep the rink rolling than not. And, family wasn't willing to do renovations. I wasn't going to duct tape walls no more. You know what I mean? Carpet on the wall. And, and I didn't think that dumping copious amounts of, um, remodeling into the rink was a good idea, but I was, uh, 21, 20 having to make these decisions. That's ridiculous. So I had wanted to bring in like church, some sort of, I mean, even if it was meant like I would allow, there would be like a, um, a window for, um, bringing in like traveling ministers, um, uh, people visiting back from missions, them, ex um, sharing alongside of a minister, like their experiences in other countries or locations. I wanted to really just open the door up to that, even to, um, bringing in, uh, reception style situations. Uh, they didn't want to do none of it. So I was like, well, I don't know. I'm out of here. You know what I mean, I'm, I gotta go. I mean, I want to do things different. I can't, this is, it's, it's, uh, it's, our business has died. Uh, yes, the schools, the school parties were, were carrying everything fine. Not to mention you're paying me less money than I'd get paid uh, at an entry level at a carry out or whatever. And you never really let us run the business and you always had to come in and just make it so miserable to deal with you. And I just got to get out of here. So that was around 20. 
how did we get here? So the memories of this town, I mean, it's, it's day in and day out. And I don't, I don't think that, I, I mean, I'm not God, but I don't think that's what God wanted. And I know that he gave me ways to stay away, but the thing is, is that the, the pedo ring, the pedos, we're going to try to get them regardless. It's sick. It's really sick. Now, so I want to say some of our stuff has died down, but um, we're like going out and around into another place. And I'm trying not to go back to the same spots all the time. And it probably is the last time I go to the farm store. That was just getting so strange. Like, it was like the, these certain stores would know that John had worked all night, but John brought me to the store and then he's waiting for me. And it was just like, I, it's just crazy how the devil can work stuff because, you know, all this, like, all of a sudden the register's not working or I got someone like breathing, like, on me just like so they're trying to get my debit thing and then for a long time we'd went to cash and that really did help just to pull cash out every week and really we all should do that um with the way things are going i mean i mean i was just at a place today and you walk in and they're like cash only well who does cash because their machines are down their machines were down i was trying to talk with my publisher editor yesterday it just makes it seem like i'm making stuff up i'm on the phone with him he's trying to send the receipt and hopefully the contracts well no we would be doing that friday it's not really the contracts it's just the extension of the the book contracts and um and then i'm paying him a little bit to get all that updated or if it had been off the market i didn't know um I think he just kind of leaves it up, but it doesn't matter. Nobody buys them, and I don't have any advertising for them. Yeah, just me. It's all blocked. He can't even get the receipt to me. I mean, that just makes him sound like making up stories. I'm on my email, and it says, um, like, it says, like, no network. But I'm on the device. I told John what it had done. And so then I had to get his device out and do it over there and then do it on another email. And then that's going to confuse my work again with Steven is now he's got the other email and then I'll be like, did you send it to this? And then, you know what I mean? It's like, then it's got to go back over there. There were several other things too. Like I said, our networks, like I'll look stuff up. Sorry. I'll look stuff up. John will look it up on his device. We'll swap phones, try to look it up a different way. And there's like our, literally our net. Our stuff is being blocked. How much of it? I don't know. But this was still in Daniel. Oh, him and I were thinking about this too uh, the other day. We we it was weird. He brought it up. I think there was something online. Someone was discussing it. Um. And I know that this doesn't fall kindly on a lot of uh, traditional Christian ears. So if you need to get off here now, I'm not going to be swearing, but um, no foul language is. We're told that it's a simple thing. As long as we acknowledge Jesus, you know, as our savior, uh, man, this was how I was taught. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it could be totally wrong. But then, if you read in Revelation, you see, uh, John and I are not under the uh, assumption that this entire thing is true. We've, we've done alone and separate, extensive, like, trying to really say yes. You know, uh, there's the one... Gosh, I don't know if it was the cabal. It's it's the bigger one. It's more, it's huge. Um, I see, now I don't know if that has a New Testament. I always meant to get into it. I wanted to, but I never did. Um, this King James was, the, the, it is notoriously known by now that the early Catholic Crusades and the very early Romans were disintegrating as much as they could of the holy word.
we don't have the full story. And, you know, I do get very emphatic about people finding God because I do know something is seriously going on, even if it's just like another, like a type of mass extinction and then things kind of build themselves back up again. But, um, some, I mean, I don't want to say some sort of, but I just always say, please find creator God. It's just simpler that way. So, but we're told this was how we were taught. And I believe even my husband's more open. Like he's, he's more capable of like keeping like, well, he's much more grounded than me, but to keep himself like grounded in this fact that he has faith, he believes in God and Jesus as a savior, but yet he knows that, you know, there's probably things we will never know. And I, I believe that too. Um, is that we're told that as long as we find Jesus, that Jesus is a, you know, blah, blah, that, that whole, but then if you read in revelation, it's like tongue tied now it's chapter 22. And it was pretty crazy that he brought it up because I had just actually been focusing on it, but I didn't tell him. Um, is verse 17 of 22. And the spirit and the bride say, come and let him that heareth say, come and let him that is a thirst come and whosoever he will let him take the water of life freely verse 18. That's not going to make any sense. So we're just going to, let's focus with the way I jumped into this. So 18, for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away, meaning any person take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part of the book and his part of the book. God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so come Lord Jesus. And then China. Is it China? China is still how many decades, how many decades upon centuries or what? Still you are forced to worship the Chinese government. And they're pushing really hard now, and now they're changing the Bible, and they've got a whole other line of persecution going on with anyone that even comes close to putting God before China government. But what I'm saying is this is, if this is plagues, I mean, I guess it doesn't necessarily say you're burning in hell, but um, how many plagues has mankind had? Beep, beep, beep. So that means, like, God already knew however many centuries ago, decades, uh, how distorted the word got. And so we've had plagues and diseases and famines and genocides and repeatedly, 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 repeatedly. This whatever's going on is not letting up. And the fact that we even have a small, if it was just even a small pocket of people denying the sound, the sound of freedom, um, even just with a, like, a, um, oh my, if this is just a glimpse into this, how, how bad is it? It's way worse than any, I would have to say that if you're not involved in trafficking, you are in a vast, vast, small majority, vast, vast, small majority. If you are not involved in human trafficking and maybe even like serious drug trafficking, like really serious, dangerous stuff, you're in the minority. And now I know, you know, Chuck Baldwin says he has all these billions of people across the world. That's good. I hope it's enough. And maybe there's enough that have another bunch of bunch of bunch. And that's what it always seems to look like to me. I'm like, well, there seems to be enough of bunch of lunch bunch. That's so their speech should all be good, right? But why aren't we good? Why aren't we good? She's getting distracted now looking at this wood thing that she didn't notice before in the cabinet. And it's done it before. It's just a strange defect on it. And to think that I, I didn't sand this twice, I've only sanded this once, but that I would have never seen that. Okay, so that means she's got to go. She's going to start getting fired up. It's that I don't ever lose hope, but I still always have that thing in my brain like, 
why couldn't I just live somewhere and just have it be like, like they, you know, I said they were, they were bugging us before we even bought the house. But it was like they knew, you know, that we were the next ones, the next victims here. He came on so scary and strong on me. It was creepy deepy, creepy deepy, creepy. And the thing is, is that the creep guys, the ones that are running or doing stuff that's not up to snuff, a little organized around, you know, um, they always beeline to me. And the, the angle is, well, a typical guy, a proper guy, right, would never let their wife or girlfriend, whatever I am, I'm his wife, <laughs> they don't technically know, right? Well, I'm sure they did, but do that. Like one of the first things he said was, is that your boyfriend? Like with his face scrunt and I had to do like the fix the fence with him. This fence back here that he put up because he couldn't stop watching me. So he had to force himself to put this. But not once. Where's been the lady? Where's she been? Where you been, girl? Well, you think that this was all conspired through my brother that wasn't ever my brother? You think I wanted to move in and next to one of his oldies? Like oldie, like I knew that he probably took your whole image down. Because my brother, is a, he was a psychotic, sick fuck. Whatever cover he tried to figure out later. But trust me, if you get alone with me for any amount of time, I'd get some ridicule. I'd get some abuse. I mean, did you, I mean, like, I don't get what we're, what went on here. And then, and then now this is, I got to hurry and wrap this up. I'm like, it's just one. It's just one. It's not Dave, Charlie, the guy in the back, Phil. Them all around, 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 around. And then the big coven of witches. And then... All of it. Just... Do devices. I can't... From comparing to at least how much more steady I can stay here, but it's not always 100%, to what they were doing in Brentwood. Oh my goodness. But they've still got this small aircraft that flies over. And I could see the operation in here. I could barely get the dog up and down and around this one block thing in each house, approximately an acre a piece. Um, and then some smaller as you go back in and then around. But then even on the back side of over an acre a piece, you know, away from each other couple little more snug up here on the back, but not, not too bad. I mean, I knew right away, but I was like, I just want to get some stuff done, you know, outside. I want to enjoy myself for once outside. You see, he wasn't going to let it. And then they, they, they created that fence thing with, and we fell for it, right? Why did we do that? Because I just, we're to the point where it's like, get it up and done and over with. And then the others are always like, we don't call the police, whatever, you know, we take care of business. We just say, we don't call the police. So, yeah, we're not like, oh, just do whatever you want. We take care of business. <laughs> it's always the thing you always said. <laughs> They're the first ones dialing to get to their mafia cop buddies. I still can't believe the county got away with this like they did. That was outrageous. I mean, if I, I surely thought the world was ending because that in the most condensed compounded where it was an entire neighborhood, funeral home, um, postal service, the whole group just, you got me and my son shredded though fully. So I want to, you know, congrats to you on that one. That was amazing. Keep me fried up, just shaking like a leaf, just fried. Just the dudes, just totally not acting at all close, so okay. And um, throw, get him shoved over into Walmart, thinking he has to go work at Walmart. We don't know what the fuck went on there. We were willing to even still just kind of keep, unfortunately, like patting his butt. 
but I was just, our main thing was don't you at least just want to get some sort of formal training? We'll help you get it. And before you know it, he's 24 or 23 and it's like, it, we're so far gone. He's shitting all over us, shitting on the vehicles, brand new vehicle for us. The one not helping so that we can get out when he was supposed to like asking ahead of time, um, completely just, I'm starting to wonder how much this stuff was actually being done by him through this demonic thing, or he sold out and, um, couldn't tell us. And then God was just like, he can't go with you. You don't want to see the truth. So now yesterday, back to the story here, is uh, Al does this weird thing with John. Now here, they've never dealt with us together. We've never officially all met together. And I guess Jill just sends Al out. I don't know. And it's very weird and bizarre communication styles. I've been around a long time now, and I used to always give everyone a million chances. I don't anymore. I apologize, but whatever fucked up shit that is you've been pulling. And then he couldn't wave at us together, but then he stops John in the coop or something about being respectful. He's trying to get a Camaro up and going. Uh, what Does that make up for um, threatening to kill Poe? Because I just simply asked and you didn't like that. I couldn't believe you didn't see big white Poe thugging through. All right. I think Poe just did like a roundabout and then came up the driveway like King Tut. But that was like too inconvenient. And then you're telling me to shut the fuck up and go home. Like telling me to go back to my house. Like, like you're the road troll. Yeah, I'm doing all this online because there will be no way that this situation gets fixed. If you and Jill can't grow up and talk to us like human beings and tell us what the fuck went on. And then the operation with the big spotlights and blinding us. And, oh, was I getting loud? Oh, was I? Yeah, I ain't gonna be stalked by some freak that's in his 60s. And then, though, part of me has been mad at me and John. Like, is this really where we were supposed to go? Because, you know, you can see stuff before you move in. You can do little drive rounds. But I think you're still kind of just like, oh, we're getting out of where we were. Yay. And then, you, and then you're in it, right? And then you're like, hmm, yeah. And then you start hearing more sirens and stuff. And then there's just like, it's like the whole thing changes, you know. So if you want this to work, you'll have to be adults and you'll have to kind of fess up some beings and things kind of need to be discussed. We can't go from uh, like the, the planned operation with Francis, I'll just go by his last name, fence operation. Uh, how bold. I mean, I can't even believe that. And then like you tried to get stuff in and then you were calling the police, but it wasn't working no more. So then you got enraged. You weren't getting your way. But then you also started panicking, right? I had to go. It's going to cut out. Bye.